Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room Channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really cute little pin cushion. Now this one in my right hand, the squares are cut larger. If you want a smaller one, then you would go ahead and cut your squares a little smaller. So these were cut four inches square, you can cut them three and a half inches square, or if you want them larger, cut your squares bigger. Okay, let's get started. For this pin cushion, you will need to use two different fabrics. They can be prints or solids. You'll need two from each that are four inches square. So take one of each of the prints and bring front sides together and then stitch a one quarter inch seam and stitch this one the same way. Take one set and flip it so that it's opposite of each other. Then bring the two sections together. Now match up your seam. They should be real close to each other. It should, if you have it in there right, it's gonna feel flat. If it feels lumpy and bumpy, you don't have it matched up. So what you wanna do is go ahead and place a pin right on that seam, then place a pin at each end and over here. And then you're gonna stitch on just three sides. So start here, back stitch, stitch down towards this edge. When you get a quarter of an inch away from here, stop, leave your needle down, lift up your presser foot and turn your fabric and continue stitching. And do that at both corners. Now take both seams in the middle and pull them apart and then bring these two seams together. So now place a pin about an inch from the center seam on each side and then you're going to stitch, back stitch here, stitch down to this corner and do the same thing, back stitch and stitch down to the corner. Now you want to keep this opening really small. Do, so don't be tempted to uh, make it really large because it's just going to mean more work for you later on. Now you're going to cut fabric off at the corners where it's stitched all the way around the corner. So just cut a little bit off and then go to all of them that are like that where you stitched around the corner. Now go and open up your opening and then turn it front side out. Now go in through your opening and then poke at your corners. Now don't poke so hard that you rip through your seams. So you do that at all four corners. I'm using polyfill stuffing. You can buy it at Joann's. You can also get it at some Walmart stores. The Walmart stores that have a fabric and craft area will have it. When you take it out of your bag, you want to break it into small little pieces and then insert it. And you first want to fill in all four corners first. And then after you've filled in the corners, I'll get it in there, there we go. After you've filled in all four corners, then fill in the center. You want to pack it in real tight you'll need a lot of it. This isn't very much at all, but you will lead, need a lot. You'll be surprised how many can go in here. Now you're going to close up your opening. So make sure your edges are folded inside, the raw edges. I'm using regular sewing machine thread and I'm putting it on a needle. It's double threaded, so tie a knot at the end. Then you're going to just do a simple little whip stitch. Now, if you want to do a ladder stitch, you can. If you don't know how to do a ladder stitch and you're interested in learning, there will be a link below your YouTube screen. But because this is not going to be on the bottom, I'm not really worried about how it looks. So you take your needle in, you grab a little bit of fabric on each side, then pull it through and pull it tight. Then you go back, again, grab a little bit of fabric on each side, 
I'm going to have to set it down for a second. There we go. And pull it through. And you keep doing that till you get all the way to the end. Now once you get to the end, you want to do several uh, stitches overlapping each other in place. Then on the last one, take your needle and insert it through this loop and pull it tight. Then here's how you can hide the end of your thread. So just go back down in that seam, go out anywhere outside of that seam, and then take a pair of scissors and cut and then just do this and the thread end disappears. For this next step, you will need a long needle. I'm using a three inch needle. Now you can find long needles at Joann Fabrics and Crafts. You can get them on Amazon, but I got mine at Walmart. And there's several different brands there, so they sell quite a few long needles. I'm also using carpet thread, and I believe it's by Coates and Clark, and it's a really strong thread. Or you can use crochet yarn, the really thin crochet yarn, to do this next step. So right now, I'm at the bottom where you did just closed at that seam. So you're going to go right in the center. And when you come out, you want to try to come out as close to the center on the other side. So there you are. You won't get right on the center, but as long as you're really close. Now, pull it out. Now you're going to go not in the same hole you just came out of, but real close to it. And you're going to go straight down again. And go close to that center, as close as you can get. And pull it tight. Now you want to do this at least three more times. Down, back up, down, back up, down, back up. So go ahead and do that. So after you've gone through at least three or four times, then you want to wind up at the bottom seam and then do a couple of little stitches in place. Here is the top side and I'm going to put a button in here and I've selected a button that has a shank, that little piece that sticks out. And I'm going to be using hot glue and I'm going to be putting it in there. So you just go ahead and squirt some glue in there. Now don't overfill it so that it, um, the button when you push it down, it squeezes it out. So, and then take your button and push it in there. Hold it for just a moment so that the glue can set. And there you have a really cute pin cushion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. If you're interested in other beginner sewing projects, go below your YouTube screen in the description section. Click on the words show more or click on the down arrow and it will expand open and you will see links to other tutorials of mine. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.